this firearm has a magazine disconnect. So gun, of course, as we've noticed, is unloaded. You pull the trigger. Nothing happens. Nothing at all. I insert the magazine. It goes click. And then I can reset it. So let's talk about the magazine disconnect for a second. What is it? Well, it simply states, as, you know, magazine disconnect. The magazine is out. Gun cannot fire. So you would think, okay, well, why? Who, who thought that up? Why did it come to be? Well, there have been accidental discharges uh, or negligent discharges, and people have gotten hurt. So what individuals who don't completely understand firearms or, or maybe don't understand how they operate, what they came up with, well, you know, let's say if the magazine's out, let's not let the gun fire because, you know, clearly you need a magazine to operate a semi-automatic pistol. Well, here's, here's the problem. So I'm going to present you with a situation. Let's say you're presented with a threat to your life or somebody else's and you decide it is time to draw your firearm. As you're drawing it out of your appendix carrier, wherever you carry it concealed, and you draw the gun, if your thumb accidentally bumps this magazine release, which is not that difficult to do, and then you bring the gun up, and it's only out, let's say it's out this far, which really isn't that much, and you bring it up and present it to a threat, and you've got a good solid grip on it, and you pull that trigger, and nothing happens, what happens? You know, it, it, it's, it's a rhetorical question. I don't need to know the ending of that story. All I need to know is that the gun with a round chambered, everything good to go, all I did was I accidentally bumped that. Maybe it only would have taken one round to stop the threat, whether that means deadly force or whether that means it scared him away. It might have only taken one round, but because I couldn't fire, because the magazine was disconnected, now that threat has continued. And maybe now it's directed at me when it wasn't before. Maybe I was uh, defending somebody else. Uh, so let's see how far this magazine has to be inserted before it actually fires. So let's go ahead and see if we can do this. It's getting closer. There it is. Nope, still not it. Almost. There it is. So let's do a quick measurement on that. So this magazine only has to be out a half an inch. If this magazine is out a half an inch, this gun will not fire. It just won't. I don't like the magazine disconnect on any firearm, uh, except maybe a 22. I can see a magazine disconnect on a 22 pistol because it's considered a training pistol or a first pistol or first firearm for uh, new shooters I get it on that but on a self-defense concealed carry pistol I do not agree with the magazine disconnect